Hey everybody, Anne here, and it's raining, so I figured I would do a project in the van. Let's see if I can figure out how to make a tiny worm bin. I just emptied out this thing of coffee, took the label off, and it looks like a great container. What should I do with it? I was thinking of trying to make a little mini hydroponic something or other, but I have some worms. And they're the kind that don't need to be refrigerated, but I'll probably, you know, the van gets pretty hot, so I will probably find a way to keep them cool. So I'm going to see if I can build a little mini worm composting bin with this little, with this big coffee thing. Alrighty, let me go gather some supplies and I'll be right back. So I don't know how long this is going to take. I'm doing this on my bed. I should probably cover it up. I don't, I don't think I'll make a mess though. So I've got my thing. I've got my lid. I've got half of a cardboard egg crate. I've got a little thing to make some holes with, some scissors, a paper towel. And Belfast Worm Farmer says he covers his worm bins with bubble wrap now to keep the worms, you know, kind of down and not going crazy all over the place. So let's see how this goes. <laughs> Alrighty. I already tested this. I drilled one little hole. Just goes down like this. I'm not going to go crazy with the holes, to be honest, um, like I did on my last bin. I don't think they need that many holes. I saw... Um, the worm bins, the worm farms that they are selling in the store these days, and really they, they only have four holes in them. So, and I don't want the worms up all over the place. Okay, I've got holes. That's good. And also, I'm not going to use the double bin this time, just for the simple fact that I never, ever, ever got any, can you see that? I never got any worm, whatever, worm juice, whatever that is. Um, so, forget it. I'm not going to use it. I'm not going to do the double, I'm not going to do the double bin thing. Um, I'm just going to tear up some of this and put it in the bottom. I hope this isn't bad. <laughs> I don't know if it is or not. Uh, you know what, I'm one of those people that I can't talk uh, while I'm doing something at the same time. So I'm going to go ahead and just do this and maybe add some funky music and speed it up and let's see how everything goes. got the worms. These are, let's see if I can get it in the camera right. Uh, worms for anglers. Wanglers live. 30 natural fat juicy red worms. No refrigeration needed. Huh. Let's see if they're still alive. Oh uh, yeah. Yes. Ooh, look at them. Ooh, and they're nice and cool. I've been keeping them underneath my, um, what do you call it? My cooler, there's a little space underneath of it, and it stays nice and cool underneath of there. So we got some of all different sizes. Yeah, baby. Let's throw them down in there. There you go, guys. All right. I'm going to save this. Well, um, I don't know if you can see this. Can you see the little wormies down in there? They look happy, but... I should have wet all that first. So I'm going to go get some water and I'm going to wet it. And I'm also going to get some lettuce. Give them some lettuce to eat. Alrighty, I'll be back. Okay. 
I got a little bit of water. It's probably the best way to do it, but that's okay. I'll toss it all around. Mix it all up. Make sure that everything is nice. Nice and wet. It's a good thing I don't mind getting my hands dirty. Okay. So I don't know. I think we need some more water, don't you? We don't want those little wormies to get dried out, do we? That's all. Okay. <laughs> Poor worms. All right. I think that's going to be okay because I'm going to put in this lettuce. And lucky me, I've got a bunch of, I saved this yucky part that's on the outside. Now I have something to do with it, aside from throw it out. Okay. Well, guys, I think that's it. I think that I'm going to leave that in there like that. And you know what I'm going to do? Since I can't fit this thing underneath the, um, you know, I can't fit it underneath the cooler. I have heard that if you put like a um, Ziploc bag with either some cold water or some ice in it or something, that will help. And I've got this bubble wrap at the top, so I think that might help. I think that that might just do the trick. Hopefully I don't kill these worms. So let me go get a Ziploc bag and put a little bit of ice in it and see what See, see if it kills them. I'll check on them tomorrow. And if they're alive, then cool. I did the right thing. If they're dead, well, I suck. All right, be right back. Okay. I got a little bit of ice. Just a little bit. Because uh, I'm going to check it tomorrow morning and see how this does. I don't want to put too much in there. And it says you don't have to refrigerate them. But you know what? It gets hot in this pan. So I'm going to do something. I uh, left a little bit of air in there. Shove it down in there. Put the lid on. Voila. I got a worm bin. I hope. I don't know. I don't know if, if they'll breed. I don't know if they'll just eat the food and do nothing else. Um, I don't know if this brand of worm, because they're kind of like a weird brand I got from Walmart. Um, what live test stick included? Oh, that's what the stick is for. Ha, I'm a dumbass. Anyhow, um, yeah, so we're going to see if this works. Oops, I got one more little piece of lettuce. Let's go ahead and throw that in there. Don't need to waste it. I'm going to be checking this kind of frequently for a while just to see if they are actually eating it and whether or not they're dead. Uh, I hope they are not dead. I hope that I can make this work because I don't know what it is about making, making worm farms, but there's something rewarding about breeding them, seeing the, the cocoons down in there, seeing the little tiny worms. My God, that worm bin that I had, that I gave away, it had thousands of worms in it. But, well, this is just a tiny one, so we'll see if it works, and I will keep you guys updated. Guys, I got curious because I wasn't sure if I got everything uh, wet enough, and I went to check on the worms, and check it out. They are, like, crawling up all over the place, so that means their their bedding is probably too dry. I'm going to add some more water, and hopefully they'll calm down. You know what? I don't know. I don't know if it was just... This is still plenty cold. I think that's cold cold enough. It may have been too cold. That may be why they were trying to get out. So I'm going to cover this up. And you know what? I just need to leave them alone. I need to stop messing with them because it's not even very hot in the van right now. I probably don't even really need to add anything to it. So, uh, oh yeah, look at my cutoffs. Ain't I, ain't I attractive? All right, so, I don't know. Wish me luck. Okay, I'm going to stop fooling with this, and you won't get another update until maybe tomorrow morning. <laughs> we'll see. Bye. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video of me making a worm farm for my van. I never thought I'd hear myself saying that. Anyway, y'all have a good one.